Hi, and thanks for joining me. It's Female Fridays tonight, and we're going to do a meditation on giving to ourselves. I'm pretty excited about it, and I thought I'd just give you a moment to just settle in from the week. Um, for those of you that are new to Female Fridays, what this is, is it's an opportunity for you to clear all the junky junk junk that gets put in your female creative energy during the month. So we do a meditation and we learn our female grounding and a way to release all the demands and expectations that get put into our female energy during the week, during the month. So that's what this meditation was created for. And tonight it's on giving to ourselves. So I want to just tell you a little bit about how we're going to do this particular meditation so that you have an idea of it ahead. First, we're going to clean off our information on giving to ourselves and take a look at that. And then we're going to use the cleaned off version of that um, vibration of giving to yourself and clean out three spaces. So those spaces are your physical body, your mind, and your spiritual body. So that's what the meditation is going to be tonight. So go ahead and get comfortable in your chair. I'm going to have you close your eyes and make sure your feet are flat on the floor, hips distance apart. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to have you match the energy of where I set the energy for class tonight, which is at a sparkling green, uh, emerald green. And what that means is I want you to imagine painting the top of your head in a clockwise motion with the color sparkling emerald green. And that way you are matching to where I set the energy for the meditation tonight. Great. Now, with your eyes closed, pull all of your attention and awareness right behind your eyes into the point that is the center of your head. And with your attention in the center of your head, just say hello to the base of your spine where your first chakra is. And we're going to create a brand new grounding cord that's going to connect you to the planet. And the way to do this is to imagine tying a, a rope or a line of energy to the base of your spine and dropping it all the way down into the planet, deep, deep, deep down until it gets to the center of the planet, and then devise a way to anchor that line of energy in. And you want it to be tight. So you could imagine drilling that line in or hammering it down, but you want the, the line of energy to be tight, both at the center of the planet and also at the base of your spine. We're going to use this line of energy to release other energy, like foreign energy that we're ready to get rid of. And a way to make that energy slide off that line faster is to put a waterfall around it or to put some oil on it. However, you want to devise that line to be slick and smooth so that the foreign energy you're ready to release can just slip right down into the center of the planet. All right, go ahead and start to release the energy of the week into your grounding cord. We're going to test it out and gravity will automatically be working with you. And the first energies I'd like you to uh, look around your aura for to see if you have would be um, any fatigue or being tired. You could let that go down the grounding cord. Frustration. I saw a lot of frustration in the sanctuary tonight, so I wanted to address that. And then go ahead and let yourself release responsibility for the next half hour. 
so you can be in present time and enjoy your meditation. Good. We're going to add to the main grounding chord, and what we're going to add is the female grounding. And the way to do that is to create a tube underneath your uterus and drop that tube into your main grounding cord. Then you're going to ground each of your ovaries into that uterine grounding. And you can do that just by drawing a line of energy from each ovary and drawing it right into that tube. Then on your backside, you have your sciatic nerves and they come up to about where your butt dimples are. And you're going to draw a line of energy from the top of each sciatic nerve, both on the left and the right, into that uterine grounding. And just let yourself release. We're going to add to this female grounding, a grounding cord to ground your female creative energy, and that gets generated out in front of your abdomen. So go ahead and create a separate tube that starts right out at the um, right out in front of your abdomen and start to ground that creative energy. And as you're grounding your female creative energy, go ahead and look to see if anyone has left demands in it. If you get the sense that there's demand energy in there, or you can see a color for it, go ahead and release that down your grounding cord. And then look for any expectations, all the expectations people have of you in your creative energy and ground their expectations out of your creative energy. And then the next thing we're going to do is pull the edge of our auras in close and tight to the body. Imagine that you're calling the edge in um, just so that it's about two to three feet from your body. And you're going to tuck the bottom edge of the aura into your grounding cord under your feet. Now, if you used a thin line of energy for your original grounding cord, you're probably going to want to open that up. And so um, you could turn that into a tube, too, so that the um, aura edge can go into it. Bring your awareness right back up to the center of your head. And we're going to start tonight with using the symbol of a bubble to represent your giving to yourself information. So out in front of you on your big white movie screen, go ahead and create the image of a clear bubble. And as you create that, have the thought, the postulate, that what's going into that bubble is your information on giving to yourself. And we want to put a grounding cord on that bubble so that 
when you see foreign energy in there that you're ready to let go of, it can travel right down that grounding cord. So go ahead and create a line of energy from the bottom of the bubble all the way down to center of the planet. And take a look at the colors in the bubble for your giving to yourself information. What we're ultimately looking for is the brightest color in the bubble, which will be ultimately your giving to yourself information. Now to get there, we're going to be releasing some other energies. And the first energy I'd like you to look for would be the energy of your mother's pain. You might see that as a color or just get a sense that it's in there. You might hear it. All of those methods are great and will get you the information you're looking for. So find that, in, find that energy of your mom's pain and start to put it down the grounding cord. The reason your mother's pain might have wound up in your giving to yourself space is you might have a healing agreement with her. And we oftentimes have healing agreements with our parents to try to help them process or solve their pain. So as you ground your mother's pain out of your giving to yourself bubble, go ahead and see if you recognize any healing agreements with her. And if you look at your agreements and you're not really benefiting from them anymore, you can go ahead and bring that agreement into present time and tell Supreme Being you're ready to end it. The next energy to look for is your father's pain. And we're going to repeat what we just did for the mother's pain. And as you ground your father's pain out of your bubble, take a look again to see if you have any healing agreements with your father to try to help him process or solve his pain. If that's an old agreement and it doesn't benefit you anymore, you can end that and let Supreme Being know. Next, take a look at your bubble and start to clean out other people's judgment of, of you and what you would like to give yourself. Look for judgments of greed, being told you're greedy or having that picture thrown at you. Clean all of that out. Look for the judgment of being selfish.
clean all of that judgment about being selfish out. And look for any energy of being called, um, yeah, being called spoiled. And clear any energy that says you already have too much. When you're looking at this bubble, we're also going to do a healing in case you notice any um, wax. What a whack is, is when somebody has been, let's say, really jealous of you or really competitive with you and they've thrown energy at you quite hard. And if it hits your aura really hard and you resist it, it splits the aura open. Now, the way that you might see this in a bubble is a little crack line or a gash. And what we're going to do is we're going to heal that. We're going to do a real simple healing I want you to take a gold ball of energy and run it along the crack or the line that you see in your bubble and let that gold energy heal it. And again, these wax are from people who are jealous of what you've created. And a whack is very painful, and it's um, they're 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 meant to deter you from doing what it is that they don't want you to do. And as you ground this energy from the wax, some of it might be very old. And look for the energy of suffering and release that from your bubble. Good. Your bubble is getting cleaned out. So now I'd like you to look at your information and ask your bubble, what kinds of things do you do to give to yourself? When was the last time you did one of those things for yourself? Would you like to do more? Go ahead and ask Supreme Being right now for a forgiveness healing and receive divine forgiveness. All right, now I want you to look for the brightest color in your bubble and keep saying hello to that brightest color until it starts to grow. This will be the color vibration that we use for our next step in the meditation. So take a look at that brightest color. And you can actually um, keep the bubble, just move it over to the right on your screen 
and we're going to create a brand new bubble. And this bubble is going to represent your body, your physical body. And I want you to take some of that color that's in your giving to yourself bubble and you're just going to arc it over into the bubble for your body and start to wash it out. Let that energy vibration be a healing agent for your body bubble. And um, if I didn't say so, put a grounding cord on the bubble for your body so that the foreign energy can release Say hello to any pain coming out of your body bubble and use your grounding cord that you have on your own first chakra to release any body pain that comes up for you. There's also a lot of unconscious energy coming out of these body bubbles because there's a lot of pain and that unconscious energy sits on top of the pain. So it comes out first and then the pain comes out. And really let that color of your giving to yourself vibration fill that body bubble up completely. And as it fills up, you might notice um, foreign energies or darker colors and just keep saying hello to them and let them go down that grounding cord. I see the energy of aches and pains coming out of the body, so keep, keep grounding. All right. Go ahead and create a great big gold sun above the bubble for your physical body. Call your energy into that sun, any energy that's outside of your body and that you'd like to get back in. And when that sun is full of your energy, go ahead and fill that physical body bubble in with it. All right. All right, we're done with the body bubble. You can go ahead and blow that up. We want to disperse all of that energy. And go ahead and create a brand new bubble. And this one represents your mind. And put a grounding cord on that. Ground it to the center of the planet. And with your giving to yourself bubble still to the right side of your screen, Go ahead and start arcing some of that highest and brightest color into your mind bubble. Oh, this is where the frustration was that I was seeing earlier. Say hello to frustration as it comes out. Giving to your mind might mean getting more rest. It might mean feeding your mind more um, interesting things. 
take a look in your rose, not your rose, take a look in your bubble and look at what giving to your mind looks like for you. Is there anything that your mind is asking you to do for it? And can you do that for it? Let your mind know that you're going to do that. Go ahead and create a gold sun above the bubble for your mind. Call back more of your energy. And fill that bubble in with gold. Let that gold go all the way through the bubble. It can even go down the grounding cord. And once it's all filled up, again, we're going to just blow it up. Pop that bubble or put a stick of dynamite under it, but blow it up. All right, we're going to our last bubble, and this is for your spiritual body. So go ahead and create a brand new bubble out on your screen for your spiritual body and ground it to the center of the planet. And take some of that giving to yourself highest vibration and start running it through your spirit bubble. Giving to yourself might mean running your energy or meditating. Take a look at what giving to yourself on a spiritual level looks like for you. Look at your bubble and see what it tells you. Fill that spirit bubble up completely with that giving to yourself vibration. And then go ahead and create a gold sun above the bubble for your spirit. Call back the rest of your energy, direct it into that sun and fill that bubble in completely with all that gold energy. And now what we're going to do is you're going to take that color of giving to yourself and you're going to arc it into your crown chakra. And where I had you set your crown chakra at that emerald green, now you're going to run the color of giving to yourself in a clockwise motion in your crown.
And then if you didn't blow up that last bubble, make sure you blow it up off your screen and create a great big gold sun above your own head. Collect up your energy. Go ahead and bring all that energy into the sun and bring the sun into you and fill your entire space up with that gold energy. You can let the excess run down your grounding cord and the excess flow throughout your aura. Good job. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and come on out of trance. I'll go ahead and close out the meditation part. May it be with the blessing of divinity that this meditation tonight and Female Fridays be complete. Amen. All right. I just have a couple of announcements. Next week we have on Wednesday night is our soul support healing on the vibration of play, which I find to be so important in life. So I wanted to do a healing on that. And then the following week on Monday the 14th, we have a Seek and You Will Find. And for those of you that are new, Seek and You Will Find is a webinar that you can come to and ask me any question you want, and I will answer you in the form of a healing. And also give everybody on the, on the call a healing as well. So that's on the 14th. And then that same week, we have our third and final your personal constitution class, and that one is on your agreement with yourself to achieve your spiritual goals. So we've already had one on your agreement with your body and your agreement with Supreme Being. So this is the third and final one. And we did go ahead and retape the first one, your agreement with your body, and that came out great. So there's no more technical issues. It, it was a great class. I highly recommend it. If you want to open up your awareness about yourself and really where you come from and um, understand more about yourself, your, your real deep self. So that's my two cents for the classes on personal constitution. And I look forward to seeing you in uh, the sanctuary again next week. And I hope to see you in class. So got my eyes on you. Have a wonderful evening and a great weekend. Thank you for joining me. Good night.